Hi, I'm Dr. Kim. I'm going to do the cash book today with you. And this question include the trade receivable and trade payable. This is a question. Paul Kantaga is a trader. The balance on his book on 1st April 24 include the following cash, bank overdraft, Molloy store credit customer, T Nukudin credit supplier. The question is just telling you that this is the beginning of the month. And they have the balances. They have the balances for cash account, bank overdraft, bank account, Molloy store, which is a this one customer means trick receivable. This is a trade table. This is the opening for this four account. And the question in the this transaction. So we have to see what are the information into it. The question saying that prepare Paul Kantaga cash book on the page opposite. Balance the cash book and bring the balance on the first May. First of all, all these transactions. Some related to the cash book, some may not. So these two related to the cash book. The question asked to prepare the cash book account. Look into the item and think which one related to it. For example, April 2nd, so goods on credit to Molloy store. So the double entry is Molloy receive, debit Molloy, credit the sales. So nothing to do with the Cash book account. Number five, pay 620 by check. The moment you saw the check, this is the bank. So this is related to the cash book. This include payment for new office equipment 580 and repair to the old office equipment 40. The total amount have two transactions. One is a new office equipment, another one is a repair. So your recording in the credit side must have the two and three in the credit side. So this one related to the cash book. Next is that receive a check from Molloy in settlement of their account. So this receive check, the moment saw the check related to the cash book. Purchase goods on credit from Tinukudin. List price 260, subject to a trade discount 20%. This is on credit, nothing to do with the cash book. 17. Return goods purchased on 13 to Nukudin, list price 80. So this is also nothing to do with the cash book. So don't need to do the recording under the cash book. 21st. The bank dishonors the check received from Molloy store on 8 April. This bank dishonor means that the check received from Molloy now cannot be accepted by the bank. The moment you saw the check, this is related to the cash book. Pay a check to T Nukudin for the balance due on 1st April. Less 2.5 cash discount. So the moment saw the check, same thing, cash book. Cash sales, this is a cash, so cash book. 29, cash withdrawn for personal use. Cash withdrawn, that means related to the cash, which is a cash book. Pay all the cash into the bank, SF60, that means this is also related to the cash book. So from all these transactions, now we're going to take those that related to the cash book. So this is related to cash book, cash book, cash book, cash book. And then this cash book, cash book, cash book, cash book, cash book. So now I'm going to show you how to do the recording. Okay. From the double entry that in here, okay. the first opening. So what is the opening that we're going to do the recording? Okay. The date. Okay, this date, starting first line. Okay, 24. April 
first. So this is the beginning of the month. Always remember, beginning of the month is a balance brought down. So the amount cash always must be debit side. That is uh, important. Okay. Whereas bank overdraft is a liability. Liability will be in the credit side. So in your credit side, the opening balance for the bank is 2190. So this is the liability. Next is that on the 5th, pay 620 by check. This includes payment to the new. So this is after you put the first year, month and date. The next row, you just put the date will do. Don't need to put the month. Okay. Here, what are the items? Office equipment. Another entry is a repair. You can put repair or you can put repair office equipment. You want to put more office equipment. So these two are the different account. One is a, this is a non-current asset. This is an expenses account. Both also under the bank because this is through the check. So 580 and then this is 40. So next is that on the 8, receive a check from Molloy in settlement of their account. How much Molloy owing? 50. So in here, I will put in 50. So here, this, why the amount settlement on of their account? Why I cannot put 50? Because you saw the one entry in there. This one here, starting Molloy owing 50. Subsequently, on the second, Molloy purchase another 34. The total that they settle is a 84. So this amount that we should do the recording. So in here, when I receive money, I go, go to the debit side. So on the 8, I will put Molloy and then the amount Molloy store. Okay, this is a check amount. So 85 under the bank column. Check bank column. Next is that on 21st, the bank dishonor the check received from this amount on the seventh. On the 21st, bank rejected. So now what are we going to do? This check rejected. We have to return back to the Molloy. And here we put bracket. This on a check. Okay. This amount, it will keep into the Molloy's account. Okay. Next is that. Here, put 84 because the check amount is this one when received. So now return back to Molloy. The next is that pay a check to T. Nikudin for the balance due on the 1st April. This is the 1st April, 320. Now less 2.5. So how much actually we pay T. Nikudin? So the amount that we pay to T. Nikudin T Nukudin Nikundi is taking the this 320, 320 times the how many percent? 100 minus 2.5 actually is 97.5 percent. So this one we get. 312. This amount is the bank amount. Whereas another entry we should put is the discount allowed. We take 320 minus 312. So we get $8 discount allowed. Eh, sorry, this is a discount receive. Ah. Sorry, not the discount allowed. Discount receive. Okay. Next is that. As sales, we receive the money. So we put into debit side. Always remember, debit is receiving the money. 
So we can put the sales or you put the cash sales also fine. So in here, 2005. Next is that 29. Cash withdrawn for personal. The moment you saw the word personal use, drawing account. Think about from the cash book point of view. Cash book is giving out the money, not receiving the money. So always remember giving out the money from cash book point of view. Cash book giving out the money. So must be in the credit side. Drawing. The personal use word indicate is a drawing. 300. Next is that pay all the cash into the bank except 60. So on this 30th, actually what they're trying to do is they want you to calculate the contra amount for the cash transfer to the bank. So how are we going to determine amount? We must know how much the balance CD. They say they accept 60. That means 60 is, is a balance CD. And this amount, how we get it? We calculate the subtotal. Okay. Here, subtotal amount is 75 plus 2,005. So this is total subtotal. Always remember accounting entry, debit and credit must be the same amount. So since this is more, so we take this 2,575. And we get, how we get this one? We get the total debit minus the credit. So this is how we get the, the, the uh, money transfer to the cash book. So this amount on 30th. And take notes that we are transferring from the cash to the bank. Okay. So bank receive money. Bank receive money. Okay. But the detail in debit side, we put cash bracket contra. And in the credit side, we put into the cash column. But in detail, we put bank bracket contra. So now we need to calculate which side is more for the bank. So for the total in here, bank seems is more than the debit. So we take credit balance. This is have credit balance. How much the credit balance? So same thing. End of the month, we always balance CD. Okay. How we calculate the balance CD? We take the credit amount minus the debit amount. So we get the balance 907. So this amount, these two amount will transfer to the following month as May 1st balance brought down. And this amount 60 sitting in here. Another entry bank. This is the overdraft. 907. So that is how we tackle the cash book question. Okay. Always remember when you do the cash book, try to stand from the cash book point of view, whether you are receiving or you are giving out. When you receive debit, when you're giving out credit. So take notes about the entry. Stand from the cash book point of view to do the transaction. Now we continue with the next section. The question is asking, prepare the Molloy store and the tea Nukudin for the April 24. First of all, you must very clear in your mind. Who is doing the recording? Paul is doing the recording. So from Paul point of view, Molloy is a customer. So means that we are preparing trade receivable account. The standard trade receivable account, the basic understanding of the trade receivable account is a balance brought down in the debit side, sales in the debit side, and the credit side, we have sales return. Okay. And then you have the bank because customer paid, not customer received the money. Okay. And then balance CD. If the customer pay, after that, the bank rejected, 
we will have the bank in the debit here, which is a dishonor check. So take notes that you must clear. Who recording? Paul as a seller. Seller do the recording for the customer account, which is trade receivable. Where else for the T Nukudin? T Nukudin is a supplier. Supplier means trade payable. How to record the trade payable, the standard item? Balance brought out in the credit side because it's a liability. Purchases. And then debit. Purchases return. And then we make payment. Bank. If we get the discount, we have the discount. Receive. Same thing. Balance CD. So this is the standard double entry. Another entry in the customer account, which is normally bank. After that, it's a discount allowed. Okay. So this is the standard item for trade receivable, trade paper. So it must be clear. Who recording? Paul recording. Paul as a seller to the Molloy. Okay. Now I'm showing you how to do the recording from the question. In here, as usual, when you first time write the entry, the beginning of the month, 20x4, asset must be in the debit side. So April 1st, balance brought down. And the amount is 50. Okay. Where else? T Nukudin is 20x4. And the amount April 1st, Balance BD. Same thing. Opening balance, balance BD. 320. Okay. Now, based on the order entry in here, now we look at it. Which one related to who and how much? So goods on credit to Molloy, 34. So this on the date of second, sales transaction, sales. And the amount is 34. Get it. Now, next is that. Receive a check from Molloy in settlement of their account. This 8. So, this 8, 20x4. Molloy pay out the check. Give the payment. Okay. So, should be in the credit side. Get it. From Molloy power wheel, Molloy is giving out the account. Okay. Giving out the amount. So in here, we put bank. And how much the amount? Because they say of their account means that the total, which is 85, 84, sorry, 84. This amount, these two amount, you add it up. Okay, next is that purchase goods on credit from T Nukudin list price 260. As I mentioned many times before, list price, trade discount, Trade discount, no accounting entry. So we have to calculate what is the net amount to record in the cash book. Hey, sorry, in the T Nukudin amount, which is on the 13th. This purchases amount. Okay, this purchases amount, how much we should record? Take the net, don't take the trade discount. So we have to times. 80% only because trade discount, no accounting, recording. Okay, next is that return goods purchased on 13. On this 13 that we buy, now we return 80, the list price. Always remember in the exam question, they will not highlight to you there is a this price or discount you had to deduct. So you must take notes. When you buy, you get discount. Now you have the purchases return. Purchases return. So purchases return also must deduct the 20%, which is only you record 80% only. So next is that the bank dishonor the check received from. So when this dishonor check received, this bank, we receive, but now cannot be used. Bank rejected it. We had to give back to the 
Molloy. So on the 21st, so this one, we will put bank and then we will put this on a chat. So the amount that cannot be clear. So 84. Next is that on the, this pay a check to T Nukudin. Balance due on first less 2.5%. So this one, we make payment to T Nukudin. T Nukudin received the money. So this one, bank amount also because the check. So how much that we need to calculate? We need to take the 97.5%. 100 minus 2.5 is 97.5. So how much we need to record? Take the 300. 20 because they say on the 1st April. 1st April, the amount is 320. So times 97.5%. So 312. Okay, this is the amount. But take notes, cash discount for accounting recording. So we had to record discount receive. This is from the supplier, the standard item. So take 320 minus 312. So this is the $8. Next is that cash sales, no, nothing to do. Cash drawing, also nothing to do. Pay all the check, also nothing to do. All the transactions, we already done the recording. So now we need to calculate on the last day, how much the balance CD that we need to bring to the following month. Debit more than the credit. So your debit more than the credit means that your this total debit have a debit balance. So take the total debit balance, this amount will be equal. Debit credit side must be the same amount. So the balance CD will be debit minus the credit, which is the amount of May 1st balance brought down. So remember beginning of the month, balance brought down, end of the month, carried out and these two amount must always be the same amount debit credit must be the same amount for balance cd balance bd and take notes that for the date and the detail this line cannot have the date cannot have the detail only the subtotal for the both side so take notes for that and now we're calculating the t nukudin t nukudin is that Debit is 384 and then credit we have 528. So that means credit more than the debit. So our total amount will be 528. So take this 528 because this amount credit more. So we have the same credit more. And how much we need to calculate as a balance CD on the 30th? So we need to calculate balance CD minus all the debit amount. So we get the balance 144. And this 144, bring it to the following month, May 1st, balance BD. And Debit credit, one debit, one must be credit. That is how we do the recording for the trick payable. So this question, take notes that you must be clear how to do the trick payable, how to do the trick receivable. So this one from more, from Paul Kantaga point of view. This is the customer, so trade receivable account. We are, This one, T Nukudin, is a trade payable. So you must get used to the debit credit side. What is the standard item for trade receivable? What is the standard item for trade payable? So take notes, if you see the trade, pay, trade receivable, so balance brought down debit, sales, bank in the credit. Okay, if you have sales return, it will be in the credit as well. Whereas trade payable, balance BD in the credit side, purchases credit side, purchases return, debit, bank, discount receive. And for the Moto Molloy store, trade receivable, if you have the discount allowed, discount allowed also in the credit side. Okay. 
I hope the recording for this cash book, trade receivable and cheap paper will help you to know better how to do the recording for the standard item.